Hey guys, this is Sunilex and welcome to my studio. I've decided to do a walkthrough of one of my new tracks called Cerasus, which is part of my brand new artist album called Crystals. So today I'm gonna show you how and what did I do. So I hope you're gonna find it useful and you're gonna enjoy it. Come with me. So yeah, this is the project file. As you can see, I work in Cubase for quite a long time now. Uh, I just I just got used to it. It's a it's a great DAW. And this project, Cerasus, is I would say it's a progressive trance track. It has a slower tempo. It's 124 BPM, so it's quite slow for for a banging trance. But I try to aim still for something hands in the air, uplifting vibe. Um, so yeah, let me show how I did it. <laughs> I started with uh, some samples with with a kick drum from which is from the Jerome Ismail's sample library. I think I started experimenting with it when I created this track. I think it's quality. I love Jerome. I think he's a legend and and just so good at producing. So this is how it sounds. This is the bass line. Baseline comes from Silent. It's one of the the basic presets, actually. <laughs> I just love to to use uh, basic sounds. But the trick with this, actually, as you can you can hear there's some uh, modulation going on. Let me show. Uh, yeah, so this is the baseline, and I decided to automate this EQ to make some texture to it, you know, because it's it's just more interesting. There's some movement in it, so I did I did this automation on the bass uh, manually. Then I duplicate the track because I felt there's not enough punch as it is in the bass line. So sometimes when I need more transients, some more attack, what I do is instead of using some transient shaper, shaper or something, I rather duplicate the same sound and I start set up the, uh, the envelopes slightly different, slightly more attacky. As you can see, this is basically the sa exact same sound, but on the original one, uh, the decay is a little bit higher and the duplicated version, it's a little bit lower, so it's more attacky, meaning you're gonna have some more punch in the sound. It's gonna, it's gonna jump out from the mix a little bit more this way. This is the first layer and this is with the second one. And then here are these other bass sounds. Basically just some sub basses. These are just samples, I think, yeah. And again, I used a lot of bass samples. Giving some nice groove to the whole thing. I love to combine uh, sample sounds with, with synthesizers, as you can see. Sometimes I got inspired from, from even bass loops or just single one, one shots. And then I just combine them with, with my lovely synthesizers. Flaps and these shakers are from Germ Spec. I think these are from Splice. Just a lot of shakers. I just... Oh yeah, and this little percussion, I just love it. There's this little stabby sound in the intro, which is just uh, basically just a chord stab. It's some nice delay on it. Uh, this is oh some uh, filter automation. I use this old school wave uh, delay. I just love it because without it, it's just so dry. Yeah. 
Um, honestly, I have no idea what this plugin is, <laughs> but it's, it looks like some phaser, I think. I just experimented with this thing, probably. Yeah. You know, it's, sometimes it's, it's great to, to start to use something that you never used before, because that's how your sound is going to evolve, I guess. Yeah, so OTT. I love OTT because it makes everything jump out of the mix a little bit more. Because without it, it's just a little bit flat. But if I turn it on, it becomes like a decent, prominent sound. Side chain, yeah. These atmospheric uh, vocal samples are from Splice. And I just threw a lot of those things into the project and. love these vibes yeah so there's this string sound which comes from omnisphere it's called adagio expressivo and actually it was already in uh, the previous version of o o omnisphere which was called uh, atmosphere i think they yeah, just such a nice string and it's you know it's it's actually a real instrument you can tell it's it's just beautiful and it plays these uh, nice chords. And there's some automation. There's this uh, spire sound, which is like a bad sound. Oh, it's actually from my own uh, sound set for Spire. The first lead. It's just a super solid, it's a wide super solid, but it just makes everything just epic. And then the main melody is is all this. These uh, six or how many layers, yeah. Basically, uh, yeah, it comes mainly from Access Virus TI, which is uh, a hardware synthesizer. And this preset is actually it's coming from my own sound set for this synthesizer, and the preset is called Inhale. As you can see, yeah, that's my own stuff. It's just an old-school, uplifting trance lead, <laughs> you know, back to the roots. <laughs> and then I combined it with Adam Sabo's Viper, which is basically an, almost like an emulation of the same synthesizer. I think I just basically wanted to AB the two synthesizer, and it sounds so good. But this is the second layer. So there's this sound, and then there is this, yeah, retrolog again, the built-in Cubase. It's just again another lead layer, and then there is this massive. Oh yeah, this sound is coming from the massive, freshly squeezed, huge sample library, which I, which I still love, use today. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of layers, and lately I try to use much less layers, but uh, yeah, it's an earlier project. And you know, for trance, I think it's okay when you when you just try to create those wide, fat, huge, super soul leads, because I think it's just all about stacking up these, these crazy, almost white, noisy uh, lead sounds. I'm, I mean... Unless they sound great together, it, then it's it, and it works, then it's great, I guess. Yeah, there's still another one, I think, here. Yeah, this is more like a plucky thing. <laughs> it's called Anjuna. <laughs> Some build-up. It's just the samples. I 
think, guys, this is pretty much it. Uh, it's it's a pretty simple track. It's just a feel good track. It just flew out of me somehow, and those are the best things, honestly. And spend a day in the in the studio, and the magic happens so quick and fast. And that's that's what I love, guys. Hope you like this little walkthrough of my new track called Sarasus, which is part of my brand new artist album called Crystals. It's out now on Juno Beats, so check it out, guys.